Urea-powered nanorobots reduced bladder tumors in mice by 90%. Spanish scientists have developed an innovative method of treating bladder cancer. For this purpose, they used urea-powered nano-robots that precisely target the tumor by attacking it with a radioisotope found on their surface. When tested on mice, this form of therapy reduced the tumor by 90%. Bladder cancer has one of the highest incidence rates in the world. It is the fourth most common cancer in men. The risk of developing the disease increases with age. This cancer is characterized by frequent recurrences, which requires constant monitoring of the patient. Therefore, this type of cancer is one of the most expensive to treat due to repeated hospital stays and the need for additional therapies. Nanorobots to fight cancer were created by scientists from the Catalan Engineering Institute IBEC, and CIC Biomagune in cooperation with the Biomedical Research Institute IRB Barcelona, and the Autonomous University of Barcelona, UAB. Scientists say their research may pave the way to the development of new, much faster methods of treating bladder cancer. Current treatment methods involve direct administration of the drug into the bladder. However, their therapeutic effectiveness as indicated by the authors of the new research, remains low. These methods cause undesirable side effects and have limited effectiveness, as evidenced by a five-year recurrence rate of 30 to 70 percent, and a progression rate of 10 to 30 percent. Wrote the authors, the new method would shorten hospitalization time, which means lower costs and greater comfort for patients. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Nature Nanotechnology. The nanomachines developed by Spanish researchers are actually tiny balls made of silica with a porous surface on which there are various elements with specific functions. Researchers placed urease there, an enzyme that reacts with urea, giving the nanorobots propulsion and enabling them to move inside the body. The second key element on the surface of nanomachines is radioactive iodine, a radioisotope commonly used in local cancer treatment. These nanomachines are an extremely promising alternative to current treatments. Scientists have previously shown that the nanorobot's ability to move independently allows them to reach every wall of the urinary bladder. This feature is advantageous compared to current treatment, where after the drug is injected directly into the bladder, the patient must change position every half hour to ensure that the drug reaches all walls of the bladder. In the new work, they also showed that nanomachines are mobile in the bladder and accumulate near the tumor and even penetrate it. They also developed an imaging system using positron emission tomography, PET, and fluorescence microscopy. The system scans the different layers of the bladder and returns a three-dimensional model, thus enabling observation of the entire organ. The innovative optical system we developed made it possible to eliminate the light reflected by the tumor itself, which allowed us to identify and locate nano-robots throughout the entire organ with unprecedented resolution without prior labeling.
we observed that the nanorobots not only reached the tumor, but also penetrated it, thus enhancing the effect of the radiopharmaceutical, explained Julian Columbelli from IRB Barcelona. Nanomachines powered by urea, a waste substance found in urine, travel to and penetrate the tumor to deliver the radiopharmaceutical. Just one dose of nanorobots in mouse studies led to a significant reduction in tumor size. With a single dose we observed 90%. Reducing tumor volume, said study leader Samuel Sanchez from IBEC. This is much more effective considering that patients with this type of cancer typically have between 6 and 14 hospital visits for treatment. This approach to treatment would increase effectiveness, shortening hospitalization time and treatment costs, he added. But determining why the nanorobots move toward the tumor was a challenge because the nanomachines were not equipped with specific antibodies to recognize the tumor. However, we have observed that these nanorobots can degrade the tumor extracellular matrix by locally increasing the pH through a self-propelled chemical reaction. This phenomenon promoted greater tumor penetration and was beneficial in achieving tumor accumulation, explained Meritzel Serra Casablancas from IBEC. Precise tumor targeting reduces the likelihood of side effects, and high accumulation in tumor tissue promotes the radiotherapeutic effect. The results of this study open the door to the use of other radioisotopes with a greater ability to produce therapeutic effects, but whose use is limited in the case of systemic administration, said Christina Simo.